Welcome to my swing tutorial. Today we will we'll be talking about simulation of the swing. We have to do a couple of steps. I already assigned dynamics rigid body to this, so it simulates, okay? And also this ground has proper value, but dynamics is set to all. Uh, trigger velocity threshold again because what we w we will not be animating this uh, uh, in that way that it will fall down on the ground because we will be creating swing. I parented this frame. Frame does not have uh, dynamic rigid simulation because it is part. It is parented to swing already this metal frame, so it doesn't belong to rigid body, but it can be still simulated. Okay, what we have to do? We have to turn on X-ray. Because this will be needed. I just will save. We have to do a couple of steps, it is important. The same here. When you turn on X-ray, you will be able to fix point on each spline, because this is necessary. Our spline is already subdivided. Uh, okay, which one? It has already been subdivided. I use the sweep norms. Oh, now we can see that I turned isoforms. If you see wireframe is properly subdivided to do dynamic simulation. Turn on quick shading. Why quick shading? Because if you use ground shading, you won't see exactly because I use the sky texture. And now we will be adding new tag, hair tag, flying dynamics. What we got here? Mass. Check. I will set stiffness a little bit higher, 41, because my rope will behave in proper way. Now we will have to add a hair tag uh, constraint. What is called this? Top. This is our swing. I should rename swing. In constraint option. Uh, okay, what I have to do. Oh yes, I just remember because I was thinking about something else. Object. When you select flying hours, hmm. Which is flying was our top flying? Oh, I probably used it. I have to move it here. Now I must check. Oh, we have already simulation of flying. But we have to... We must uh, use another constraint to attach bench. So, select is flying once again. Okay, I have to make sure you do in our outliner. New tag. Constraint and again use that another uh, no 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 this is wrong I forgot the name of this object I messed up a little bit. 
because I look so clear. Oh yes, that's okay. We can use this object. And now select our spline. It can take up to a couple minutes. What we have to use spring. Okay, this needs to be added needs to be added to our spring top object object A we will relate object A will relate to top object B will relate to our swing but we have to use uh, offset and offset we have to use offset to do this properly. This is what I found out on one of the tutorials. If you see, this is almost matching. Set rest length because it matches our object. The same here. Ah, I used the wrong set rest length. I do not want to have visible... Hmm, what I did wrong? Yes, but it shouldn't fall. Ah, sorry. By accident I turned this off. We have got calculation of our spring, but we have to do the same with next spline. Where is our next? It's not that is selected here because you can see orange rectangular border. Again, new tag, hair tag. Mm, what I use? The Explain dynamics, stiffness 41. Okay, again, make sure you check. If flying is selected, new tag, hair tag constraint, and I think my top object first. Top. Go to point object mode set to fix. Now we will check. And you do step by step. I should really rename this, but it's not necessary yet. And constraint, another constraint, and we will add a spring. Swing, sorry, swing, not spring. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh yes, because we we didn't add spring. This is another step. What we have to go. Object A and again top and uh, swing will be our bottom object. Okay, offset. If you want to see if this matches, move a little bit your object here. Uh, 
No, you guys think too much. Set rest leg. Now focus on bottom part of your object. Change to offset. Make sure this wheel line up to our flying. Yes, it's yes, it's perfectly lying up. Hide, no, hide this because we want to need. And if you want uh, to do better simulation, you can add just turn X-ray off because we have ready animation we will have animation but we need to add wing how to add wing is very easy check make sure you select this because if you select the world you can easily rotate object sometimes you need to switch to object when when something you move in different direction is better to use object instead of world. What we didn't finish yet, and where I where I was. Wing is just wing. We need I think something else forces, and we will use wing and here as well now we will check but wing is not fast enough wing speed we have simulation of our spring object I think I could do in in real time. So you can do simulation in real time. Uh, mass. I need to check mass. Uh, custom density. Oh, this is proper mass. It's not not to it's not exactly I should add more ropes Okay wing 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 it seems to be too strong I will change value I should add, consider adding more rows. Oh, almost, almost. But we have to consider adding new rows or it would be actually necessary to add extra row object because simulation center of mass is not it's not exactly like in real time realistic simulation would be much better because i didn't add more rows i hope you like this video